NSI-189 is a new investigational antidepressant and is purported to work differently from existing antidepressants. Research suggests that the drug can potentially help those who don't respond to conventional medication. Research is also ongoing for its cognitive enhancing effects. NSI-189 is an investigational drug being developed by Neurostem Inc, a biopharmaceutical company. It was studied in phase 1 and 2 clinical trials for the treatment of major depressive disorder. As of July 2017, the NSI-189 failed to meet the effective outcomes for the depression in the phase 2 trials. According to the developer, NSI-189 is currently in preclinical trials for a number of other conditions, including cognitive impairment and radiation-induced cognitive impairment diabetic neuropathy, a form of nerve damage caused by diabetes, ischemic stroke, and Engelmann syndrome, a genetic disorder that causes development disabilities and nerve-related symptoms. The mechanism of action of NSI-189 is not completely understood. Initial research suggests that the experimental drug might work by promoting neurogenesis, the growth of new nerve and brain cells, more specifically, the NSI-189 appears to primarily affect the hippocampus, or the part of the brain that's responsible for emotions, learning and memory. In a cell study using human cells derived from a hippocampus, the NSI-189 stimulated neurogenesis. A study using mice also suggests the NSI-189 can promote neurogenesis in the hippocampus. NSI-189 is an experimental drug and it's not been approved by the FDA. The safety and the effectiveness of the drug are unknown and it can only be purchased for research purposes only. In phase 1 randomised placebo controlled trial with 24 people, those who were taking the NSI-189 showed significant improvements in depression symptoms compared to placebo after 28 days of treatment. A phase 2 randomised placebo control trial with 220 people compared the effects of the NSI-189 at 40 mg a day and 80 mg a day with a placebo after 12 weeks of treatment. This trial failed to meet the researchers' expected effectiveness for the outcome in the depression. However, the 40 mg per day dose in this trial found significant improvements to depression symptoms according to the patient reported questionnaire and no serious side effects were reported in the phase 1 or phase 2 trials. The same phase 1 and 2 clinical trials that studied depression also found potential benefits to cognition. In the previously mentioned phase 1 trial with 24 people, those that were taking the NSI-189 reported improvements in cognition according to their self-reported questionnaire. And similarly, in the phase 2 trial with 220 people, the 40 mg dose was associated with self-reported improvements in cognition, including improvements to memory, working memory and executive function. In a rat study, researchers gave the rats 189, starting 6 hours after an induced stroke, and this was continued daily for 12 weeks. There were significant improvements in the brain and the motor deficits, and this improvement lasted 24 weeks post-stroke. Cell studies show the NSI-189 might reverse cell death process called oxygen deprivation, similar to the injury caused by a stroke. Diabetic neuropathy is a form of nerve damage, and this can occur in those with diabetes. There's some evidence that the NSI-189 can protect and regenerate these damaged nerves. A study in rat cells suggests the NSI-189 could promote the growth of sensory neurons. Researchers also found the NSI-189 might stop the progression of nerve damage in both the brain and in the limbs. Angelman syndrome is a genetic disorder and it primarily affects the nervous system. Symptoms typically include intellectual and developmental disabilities, movement issues and seizures. In a mouse study, the NSI-189 injections reverse cognitive and movement impairments. Researchers suggest that by activating the TRKB and AKT pathways, the NSI-189 
might represent a potential treatment for Angelman syndrome patients. The currently available clinical trials of NSI189 all have relatively small sample sizes and all these clinical trials were also conducted by the developer of the drug. It's important to note it's an experimental drug with no long-term studies and the safety and effectiveness is still unknown. The NSI189 is a new antidepressant and cognitive booster. Unlike other antidepressants like SSRIs and MAOIs, the NSI189 appears to work on different mechanisms. It's an antidepressant and neurogenic chemical and it might be able to improve the cognitive function, treat traumatic brain injury, Alzheimer's disease, post-traumatic stress disorder and stroke and prevent cognitive and memory decline in ageing. It may improve cognitive function. It can improve long-term potentiation. For example, in genetically altered mice to have Angelman syndrome, the NSI189 taken orally could return the long-term potentiation to the mice. It can also protect against radiation-induced memory impairment. And it can also induce neurotropic factors such as stem cell factor, brain-derived neurotropic factor, vascular endothelial growth factor and glial-derived neurotropic factor. Destruction of the hippocampus is a common pathology in major depressive disorder. The NSI189 may effectively treat the major depressive disorder as well as other psychiatric disorders by increasing neurogenesis or growth in the hippocampus. The NSI189 might improve motor function and hippocampal deficits seen in oxygen deficit or hypoxia after a stroke. One reason for this is NSI189's ability to significantly increase the neurotropic factor VEGF, BDNF, GDNF and SCF. For example, in mice that were given a stroke, the NSI189 treatment continually helped to improve the deficits in these mice even after the cessation of the drug. NSI-189 might be able to protect the nerves from toxicity in diabetes and it might help with nerve pain and neuropathy in diabetes. Some side effects that have been reported have been dry mouth, palpitations, headaches, dizziness, sleepiness, fatigue, restlessness and poor quality of sleep. It appears to be non-toxic in high doses for long term in dogs and mice. Some of its mechanisms of action are increasing BDNF, GDNF, SKP and VGF. It may pass the blood-brain barrier. In humans in vitro as well as in rodents in vivo, the NSI189 stimulates neurogenesis in the hippocampal slices, specifically profound in the dentate gyrus. In humans in vivo, the NSI189 improves the left side of the hippocampus. It reportedly has no effects on monoamine transporters, receptors or amino acid targets. It can function as a norepinephrine dopamine reuptake inhibitor. It can improve glucocorticoid resistance, possibly modulating aldosterone receptors and it can increase the size of the hippocampus by 20%. To learn about herbs, supplements and natural treatment plans, check out my website.